The president also asking federal departments and agencies to extend their bans and evictions on foreclosures. Uh, this as landlords across the valley say our eviction moratorium has led to serious issues. 13 Action News reporter Austin Carter explains despite rental assistance programs being made available, there could still be serious long term effects for everyone. And although rental assistance programs have been made available across the state here in Las Vegas, landlords and property managers say they are still being plagued by those money woes. They're getting closer and closer every single day to uh, not being able to pay their mortgage. Property managers like Danielle Gallant of Guardian Realty is fighting daily to keep her landlords afloat. Um, every state has asked landlords to be a, a huge integral part in being part of the solution to stop the spread of COVID. Yet we're really the only industry that has been left with the least amount of support. The Nevada eviction moratorium has been going strong for many months and since it began, the CARES Housing Assistance Program, also known as CHAP, has worked to provide millions of dollars worth of aid to renters. However, Danielle says landlords are facing the brunt of a never-ending whirlwind of grief. This is going to have some very devastating effects as it continues. One of those effects, Danielle says, is if a landlord has to go into foreclosure, their credit score would take a massive blow and it would be a similar story for the tenants. They're going to have this massive 10, 15,000, even higher bill, and they're not going to be able to pay it. Since the institution of the eviction moratorium last year, Governor Sisolak stressed that landlords and tenants must work together and that the moratorium did not mean free rent. Here in Clark County, the Neighborhood Justice Center offers free mediation to both landlords and tenants, but Danielle believes services there simply did not have the same resources to reach resolutions as the Supreme Court's mediation program. We got zero resolutions, zero money. It was a massive failure. Jim Birch told of the Legal Aid Center says when it comes to tenants, much like with previous moratoriums, while they have rights, they must also do their part. They've got to sign a declaration, give it to their landlord, and if they get an eviction notice, they have to respond to it. And some leaders in the property management community here in Southern Nevada, well, they've actually gone together and created a GoFundMe page to help renters come up with that money if they still need assistance. More details and a link to that is on our website, ktnv.com. I'm Austin Carter reporting in Henderson for 13 Action News.